Based just 30 miles from Manhattan, New York City Football Club was established in 2014. Attracting European talents such as all-time top Spanish goal scorer David Villa and Italian midfielder Andrea Perlo, the team has continued to improve in Major League Soccer standings each year since its launch, making the playoffs for the first time last season. At only 22 years of age, Costa Rican defender Ronald Matarita joined NYCFC in 2016 and has since made 34 appearances for the club. This is my second year. This is my second year playing for NYCFC. It's an incredible club, and joining them was one of the best decisions I've made in my life. It was a great opportunity, and I felt a really strong desire to come here. I also think that having teammates with the quality of David Villa and Andrea Perlo is incredible. It's something I always dreamed of as a boy. When I got to the club, I really wanted to help the team both defensively and going forward. That's why I work hard in training every day and try to improve. I aim to show what I'm made of in every match I play. NYCFC often play a 4-3-3 attack-minded formation. Employing this tactic usually means that Matarita's role as a defender is increasingly an offensive one. It is this attacking mindset that has meant the team have already scored 36 goals in the MLS this season, the third highest in the Eastern Conference. I think Ronald is a very important player in terms of the team's attacking play. Obviously, he's a fullback, and so he's a defender, but he offers so much going forward. He's good at exploiting space in the middle third and contributing to the attack, so he gives us more options when we're on the offensive. He's a very important player for us. I think that getting forward and helping out in attack is one of my best attributes. When I was younger, I was always a striker or a winger, and as a result, I have a tendency to play with an attacking style. Now that I'm a defender, I think there's still plenty I can offer going forward, and I'd say that's one of my finest qualities. Without doubt, some of the goals we've scored as a team have been helped by that. My style of play is largely based on acceleration, turns and changes of direction. We work on specific drills in training to improve these factors every day and to help us perform better on the pitch. Since 2016, the team has been coached by former Arsenal and France midfielder Patrick Vieira, bringing a more offensive edge to the team, increasing their average points per game by 50% after his first season. I think that since Patrick Vieira took over, the team have had a very attacking style of play. It's about keeping possession, avoiding long balls and trying to build from the back. He wants us to be on the front foot at all times. We do different kinds of training sessions. Sometimes we concentrate specifically on tactics and the transition from defense to attack. Every day is varied and we work on something different. It's also geared a lot towards a specific game plan for the weekend. Obviously, you need to be in great shape in every position in football. But I'd say it's especially important for me as a fullback, whose job is to get up and down the wing and defend and attack throughout the game. But you've got to go about it in the right way. When I was younger, I was guilty of being too active and wanting to do everything. As the years have gone by, I've understood that you need to be disciplined. You have to know when to make runs and when to hold your position. It's about knowing when you can attack and when you have to stay back to defend. These are things that over time you learn in football. I have many dreams. I can see myself playing for one of the world's best teams one day, and I think there are plenty of good things in store for me. Wherever I end up, I'll always try to give my best, perform well, and make the most of every opportunity that I get each day.